Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Nish Kishap, and welcome to Blogger Sprout. And in this video, I will show you how you can create an awesome website, whether it's a blog or you want to create a website for your business or for any other project or use that you want. How you can create a beautiful website using WordPress and without spending a lots of money in Hono hosting. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your web awesome website step by step on Hostinger uh, using WordPress. So this video is brought to you by Lesson. Lesson is a learning website where you can learn everything about WordPress and WordPress related things like WordPress SEO, affiliate marketing and all in a step by step way. And the best part is that most of the videos are free. So this video is also a part of Lesson. So do check it out. The links are given in the description below. So without any further ado, let's get started on how you can create your own website. So let's back to the computer. So guys, we are back to our website Blogger Sprout and before we get started with this video, I want to share a very small and useful tip that can really help you to make a website using Hostinger is that we have a detailed guide on how to start a blog and you can access it by just visiting bloggersprout.com and here in the top menu where it's written make website, just hover your mouse there and you will find the first option which is how to start a blog although we have several other uh, uh, guides like how to create a business website how to create an e-commerce website so if you are you are cre going to create a website in hostinger for your business or an e-commerce you can click either one uh, but since this video is like dedicated to uh, the ones who want to start a blog using hostinger just come and click on here in this link which is how to start a blog and we have a detailed guide it's a step complete step by step guide with in with all the images videos and pictures that can really help you understand how far you have progressed and what are the next step that you need to do so first of all that is uh, chapter one two is like choosing a platform so we have already chosen our platform as wordpress so you can skip the chapter one and chapter two chapter three is getting a domain name so i i will show you how you can get a domain name and chapter four is uh, getting the best hosting so we have already chosen our best host as hosting them and chapter five is installing wordpress and since chapter, after chapter 6, which is WordPress settings, plugins, design, and SEO, uh, you need to follow this guide. The link will be given in the description below uh, so that you can uh, easily uh, just follow all the guides. And I'm not going to include uh, any tutorial from chapter 6, which is WordPress settings, themes, and plugins, because if I'm going to do that, the video will be really, really long. Uh, it can like it, it will be like near about two to three hours of videos and i don't want uh, to create any video which is like two to three hours because th that is something that uh, users don't uh, really experience watching two to three hours of video even i don't uh, like to watch two or three hours of video but i would watch uh, videos like five to ten minutes long uh, in a course of two hours so that i can easily understand and follow each video step by step so let's get started of getting a domain name so although i want to tell you is that if you buy a hostingers plan you will get a domain name completely free for one year guys for one year you are going to get a domain name from hostinger completely free and from the next year you need to pay uh, if the price for the domain name which the hostinger will charge you but i would really recommend you to get a domain name from a separate base like uh, someone who is really good in selling domain names and from hosting I just get the hosting uh, and just ignore the free domain name there is a specific reason because sometimes what happens is that many uh, users uh, lose their account of uh, or they want to shift their uh, hosting account from one platform to another and the domain name still uh, remains logged to the hosting uh, hosting company because you can't transfer it or there are certain limitations and de definitely you don't want uh, th that to happen with you uh, so instead of getting a domain name just for free for only one year just get a domain name from a domain provider which uh, which you can transfer anywhere easily and have a complete access and complete control over it so to get a domain name just uh, come to this blog and click on this learn more or chapter 3 or anywhere you can click just click on this learn more button and you will be redirected down below here is how to get a perfect domain name and this is actually uh, this tool is powered by Namecheap and Namecheap provides really great domain names for um, the very low price and I also have a video on how to choose a domain name step by step if you haven't uh, figured out how, what should be your next blog's name. So here watch this video if you don't have any idea on how to get a domain, uh, domain name and or if you don't have any idea on what kind of name should you choose watch this video and if you already know what kind of domain you want 
just come here uh, fill in the uh, fill the form and click on search button you will be redirected to an, to the name chips main website where you can complete the transaction and buy your domain name although i have also shown how to uh, complete the transaction in this video now coming to the next part is getting your domain uh, your hosting so for hosting we are going to use uh, Hostinger. So for Hostinger, I already have a discount link on our blog's resource page. So if you click on the resource page, uh, you can access the page. Or if you want a direct link for the Hostinger's uh, discount link, uh, the link is given in the description below in the YouTube. Uh, so you can just click on that link and get the offers, uh, which offer, whichever offer they are uh, they are right now promoting. You will get the sale page, the offer page, and you can see right now they are offering a sale with web hosting plus free domain name. And all you need to do is choose the hosting plan that is suitable for you and let's get started. So before coming, uh, before choosing your hosting plan, I would just like to let you know is that there are two kind of web hostings. First is a web hosting, which is a Linux hosting or shared hosting. The second is the WordPress hosting, which is also a shared hosting, but the servers are specifically for WordPress uh, hosting. They are uh, optimized to and tweaked to, pro uh, to provide optimal optimizations and optimal performance for your WordPress. So I hope you are going to use WordPress. So click on WordPress hosting and you will get four different plans. Depending on when you are watching this video, the plans may might change or the names might change. Uh, but the plans are pretty much simple and I will and I will explain which plan you should go. So if you are someone uh, who is running an e-commerce website with their WordPress or want to sell something, some of your goods or products or services or using your WordPress website, then you should definitely go with the WordPress Pro version, Pro plan. If you want a website for your business but you are not going to do any kind of transactions like the uh, like you don't want to sell any goods or products uh, then you can choose the business WordPress because uh, for business the speed and reliability is very important so business WordPress is really essential for business owners uh, if you want to just uh, showcase your business or if you want to list your website on the internet then this plan is definitely for you. And for all the others who want to just start a blog and experience what is WordPress, what is host, uh, like how to get started blogging, for them I would just recommend you to go with the WordPress starter plan. Although there is another plan which is single WordPress but I don't recommend it, it although it's just $1 cheaper but I will recommend you to go with the $2.99 month the WordPress starter. And there are few reasons to choose this. The first is the number of websites, it's more than one so definitely in the future if you want to increase one of your website or you want to create another website for another niche then you can easily go with this plan you don't need to pay any extra the second is the uh, the amount of storage although you are not going to use even 30 gb of storage but uh, if you want to create backup regular backups then you might really use the 30 gb ssd storage very easily the third which is a very important factor is the number of monthly visit so in this plan you are going to get uh, 25000 monthly visits and above that uh, and if you exceed above that you will be charged uh, but 25000 visit is really hard to get on monthly basis especially if you are starting out as a new so uh, so here is uh, 25000 visits is really helpful if your website suddenly booms during the uh, festive seasons or the or the time you are focusing on so you don't need to worry anything about that and there are another lots of things that there are free email accounts so you can create unlimited accounts you will also get free ssl which is valued at 11.95 almost 12 dollars uh, you will get some of the google ads credit depending on your country and there are some other certain things that you are going to get here okay uh, so i'm not going to just include all these features although i have the main features are already explained above here now you only now you need to do is click on this select button and you will be redirected to this checkout page. Here the plans are explained in a periods way means the number of tenure you want to uh, buy and on one month is for those who want to just try out the server before making a purchase although I don't recommend it because uh, I have already used Hostinger and I know their servers are really great and their support is really great so you don't need to make a trial but uh, if you want you can go ahead but uh, that's, that would be a really costly uh, plan just to try out. Next is the 12 months plan which is $5.99 US, US month and if you choose this plan you have to pay $71 for you and the entire year it's a total of $71 which you will be paying $5.99 per month uh, but the, you have to make an upfront payment of $71. 
next uh, the third option is the 24 months which is for two years and you have to make here 95 dollars and you can see the difference is not much that much here the 71 here if you go for one more year you are going to get it for 95 dollars and i love this plan which is the 48 months and you can get this entire plan for 143.52 dollars it's really uh, like a, it's a it's a really big amount of savings it's a 576 dollars amount of saving and that can really help you to get started because the amount of money you are saving will be really uh, benefit you in the long run the next is to uh, create your account here are three options like facebook github and google but i recommend you to choose the email as it's the best way to create your account why because you may lose your facebook account or your github account but you will still have the access to your email id so use an email id uh, and i'm going to choose my email id here admin at bloggersprout.com just for the purpose of this video now the third step is to choose the method of payment and depending on the method uh, of this payment may occur uh, it depends on your country so since i am in india uh, for me google pay is the best option because it allows you to just click uh, and make the payment within few seconds and you, uh, the google pay will show you a qr code which you need to scan it from your mobile and you will make the payment uh, although the popular options are credit card the paypal and if you are into cryptocurrencies then coingate is really helpful for that the next is to confirm all these details before clicking the submit button so all the details are correct and i have checked it out so let's click on the submit secure but payment and you will be redirected to another website this is the final page where you need to make the payment if you are using credit card paypal or any other payment process here is the right hand side it shows your order summary and the total amount of payment that you are going to make and this is the button which after clicking you need to fill in your login credentials and the payment will be done so in this video i'm not going to do that because i don't want to share my login credentials of my payment processors and i will just skip this part and i will come to the next part where i have already made the payment and i am into my dashboard of hosting so after making the payment here is the hostingers panel and i have two options like the first one is the ssl setup and the second is the hosting if you are starting new then you will not get this option which is the ssl certificate option uh, you will have only one option which is the hostings option and your domain name will be displayed here all you need to do is click on this manage button after that you will be redirected to something which looks like this on the left hand side is your server's details uh, which i am going to hide because for security reasons and here now you don't need to do anything you just need to do one simple step is scroll this down and come to this website where it says auto installer click on this now next again you need to click on this wordpress button select and now you will get this pop up now here you need to make sure that you are going to choose this http you please do not choose the https although the s is really great option and uh, it's secure it's an ssl uh, it stands for ssl security but you need to choose an http for now because right now the ssl certificate is not installed in your domain name which means if you are going to choose the https your website will not work right now so choose the http here your domain name will be shown next is the username so i will choose admins and it should be all in lower cases and no spaces in between next choose the administrator password it should be really strong including a capital letter lower letter numbers and symbols and next is the administration email or administrator email uh, which means that in case if you lose your administrator password you can reset it and get the link to reset your password in this email id the fourth is website title it's not really important you can just give your domain name which in, uh, in my case it's glorious themes so i'll write here glorious themes uh, the fifth is this uh, the 5.8.1 this is actually the wordpress version as right now i am making the video uh, and depending on when you are seeing this video this version may be different uh, here you can change the language of the wordpress for uh, i prefer english and here is the database uh, i am going to choose an option which is create new database and there are lots of database that i can create uh, or i have already here in my database center but i'm going to choose create new database and the password you can set it by yourself or let the website uh, hostinger do its own thing and configure the password for you 
now you need to do is click on this install button and after you have clicked this install button it will take hardly a minute or two and the wordpress will be installed so once your wordpress is installed you need to follow the guide that i have shown you earlier in this video and i will show you once again we, uh, the guide is uh, under mac website how to start a blog click on this and scroll down to chapter number six wordpress setting click on it and follow this guide step by step to know exactly what you need to do the next to configure after installing wordpress and that's it guys that's how easy it is to start your wordpress blog using hostinger and if you want a complete guide with step-by-step -step tutorial i have a course on lesson here uh, just click go to this course pages or you can uh, and here you can see we have lots of courses here and depending on what kind of website you want to create we have free ones we have paid ones uh, so depending on your need you can choose either the free one or the paid one and you can create your website it really is a really simple in a simple way okay so that was how you can create a website on hostinger using wordpress so a few of the things that i would really recommend you is that if you are creating only one website just go for the selected plan that i have shown you on this video and if you are going for more websites uh, then i would just say you know, if it's a business go for the business plan it's a few dollars more but uh, the thing is that you are going to get a more ram and resources on the server which will definitely help you in the long run and you don't need to worry about your uh, websites been crashing or you're slowing down because the resources uh, that are being provided in a business plan is really worthy and we are also using the hosting plan for some of our niche sites which are getting a really great traffic and the servers are handling really fine the speed is really good so that's one thing that i would really recommend you to check it out okay guys that's it for this video i hope you have really enjoyed this video so show your love by supporting this channel but just do subscribe to our channel so that i can bring more and awesome contents and videos like this for you for completely free on youtube channel and also on which uh, on the website and you can get all my videos right there